Okay, we'll start off this video, which is part two of the Stereo Master HMV Stereo Master 2412 with the camcorder handheld because I can't find the tripod adapter at this point. Mr. Chippy is sat there waiting for me to finish this and to start changing those capacitors. And we've made a kit up of those capacitors. Where is the kit? He doesn't know either. Oh, yeah, it's up there. There we are. Nicely labelled up a, a kit of parts, and there are 21 capacitors to change. And I'll point those out to you when we've done them. So, this is work in progress. We've now changed all these capacitors, or Mr. Chippy's changed all the capacitors. And perhaps Mr. Chippy's finger would like to point out uh, on the preamp board which uh, have been changed. The six two microfarad capacitors. Two eight microfarad capacitors and the three hundred and thirty, or we've put three hundred and thirty in. The new um, power supply um, re um, reservoir capacitor has actually that P clip's adjustable, so we've been able to um, put a slightly smaller modern one in. Then the, behind the transformer, there's uh, one on the regulator board. Can you point the one and only one out on the radio tuner? That's that one, yeah. Then on that, I don't know whether we can just... Ah, oh, it's got the mind of its own. Just zoom in on that slightly. So we've changed, if you can point out those, uh, 330 microfarads and what else? Eight. Um, there's two 50 microfarad ones, three 300 microfarad ones, and two hundred seven hundred and fifties which go in those little P clips there. And we were able to buy ones which were the right thickness at a higher voltage rating, so that's even better. So that's twenty one capacitors changed. And uh, what we're gonna do now, this has actually come with no pilot light, so we'll change the twenty four volt two point nine watt MES lamp, put a new one in there, and we'll put it back together and we will power it up and see what happens. Right, welcome back to the part two of the video. Uh, Mr. Chippy's just been screwing the mains, uh, the main filter capacitor in there. So you're now listening to it working. I think it's on Classic FM 101.1. Remember, we're here in the UK, and I can see the stereo light flashing. Mr. Chippy, if you'd like to point that out, uh, we're in a very poor reception area, and we're using a piece of solder as an aerial. Uh, but it is receiving. We can hear it on the bench speakers, and we've changed the capacitors which I will just tell you what we've changed. So with reference to the circuit diagram and layout, which is here, and it's in the radio and television servicing book, which is this one, and it's the 1972s, 1973s models. And it's not down as 2411 or 2412 HMV. You have to actually look it up as the Ferguson, and it'll come to me, 3425. That's what it is. That's what the chassis is. So we've changed 21 capacitors. We've changed capacitors. I'll show you the kit we made up. We've changed capacitor 101, 102. 103, 104, 111, 109, 110. The pilot light is 24 volts, 2.9 watts MES. On the preamp, we've changed 87, 88, 74, 77, 78, 112. That's those six there. 79 and 80, 115. Moving to the decoder, we've changed uh, the 150 microfarad capacitor and the 8 microfarad capacitor. And then on the tuner we've changed eight microfarads, um, one on C51, and the big power supply electricity, Mr. Chippy was just screwing in there, C60, uh, four 700 at 50 volts we've put in, and the 100 microfarad one on the stabiliser board, C55. So that was what we have changed. We've switched it on, it's working. Now we've just had a snag. On the voltage stabiliser board is a preset, which is 15K. And Mr. Chippy is now showing you the remains of that, and we were growing, when we switched it on, we actually found that the voltage is, was 18 volts and it should be 15. Can you just show us that meter towards the camera, please? 
and as you can see we've got that at 14.9 toggling 15 and we've had to replace that preset it had disintegrated so that was a, a definite fault on the product and that was causing it to motorboat but it sounds absolutely superb and I think that's where this part of the video ends um, the next video part 3 it'll be back in the cabinet thank you for watching